Welcome to Cambodian Rail Cafe Car, an interesting adventure. And if you find these uh, videos useful, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Here we are in downtown Phnom Penh, outside the Central Railway Station. It's a beautiful old. Uh, Deco style building made of concrete from the 1930s. There's a uh, pharmacy there too. If anyone's catching a train and wishes to pick up some meds before they travel. But there's something interesting here. It's the train station, but there's no trains closed for the pandemic. So why are we here? It's like being in the veritable pub with no beer. One interesting thing about this station is that the uh, fledging Communist Party of Kampuchea organized some of their clandestine meetings in railway sheds somewhere out there. There's uh, those little rail cars. We're on a trail of something. We're investigating. So this will be my train fix for 2021. And where are we going? Beyond the flashing sign. We go out here. This is a brilliant idea. Because there's no trains running, what Cambodian Rail has done has parked a carriage out here next to the train station and turned it into a cafe as a way of generating a little bit of revenue. So that is what we intend to investigate. Price 125, 125 and 150. Okay, that sounds reasonable. I wonder what it is. Little outdoor seating here and a nice touch. A steam locomotive. And then we go. Now Sinu didn't turn up. Couldn't make it apparently. Uh, excuse me. We'll talk about that in a moment. Can I get an ice latte? Ice latte. Yeah. Okay. I wonder if this is the um, normal train stop. Could very well be a way to keep them employed. So my theory on Sinu is we may have got our ten thousand, two dollars fifty. Thank you. Okay, so my theory this could be a number of things. Most like, do you have a uh, Wi-Fi here? Yes, Wi-Fi password. Uh, train one hundred sixty-eight. Train one sixty-eight. Train one hundred sixty-eight. Yep. Okay. I'll try that. Okay. So looks like it was a mixed message. These things happen. <clears throat> so maybe um, Sina will turn up in a little while, or maybe she will join us for another adventure in the future. It's nice and quiet in here, cool and breezy. There's even some Christmas decorations on the roof. Air conditioned. 
huge windows. So this is what you can expect from Royal Rail, Royal Rail Cambodia. Everyone in here is Cambodian, which means that the tourists haven't discovered this place yet. It's very peaceful. Good place to chill. Yeah, the coffee is a bit sweet, Vietnamese style with um, Sweden condensed milk in it. I should have said just plain milk. Yeah, you live and learn. Okay, there definitely was some confusion in our planned meeting, but it's beginning to be resolved. So I'm going to go out and then we'll get on to part two of Cambodian Rail Cafe Car. And outside there's this high rise here. I think it may have a viewing platform way up high. I'd like to get up there at some point and get a, an overview of the city. And what does it say here? Royal Train Square. So I guess if you're going to catch a tuk-tuk, you want to catch the train, you ask them to take you to Royal Train Square. And I say that because I've never seen a female tuk-tuk driver. That's why I say you can ask him. Now I'm waiting out here for my friend Sinu to join me. And Sinu was a... Uh, Sinu worked at the hotel where I'm staying. And I've enlisted her help in a couple of little matters which will become apparent over the course of this little video. I have some questions for her about a couple of things that I don't quite understand about Asia and pronunciation. So we'll wait for Sinu. Very kind of her to uh, agree to come here. Hello, Introducing hi. Sinu. Yeah. Part two begins. Hello. I have some questions for you. Okay. Two questions first. Yeah. Now, often when you photograph an Asian person or Southeast Asian, they go like that. Two. Yeah, what does that mean? What does it mean when people do that? Two is like it. Yeah. Um, it's like um, freestyle, you know. Freestyle? Yeah, it's like my style. They always like to do that, so like too, it's mean like popular in Cambodia. I think so. Yeah, in Vietnam too they do. The, so, yeah, maybe have the same style. Yeah. And the other one is, how do you pronounce Nom Pen? See, I say Nom Pen, but I hear some people say No, Pa. Okay, let me tell you. Um, Phnom. Phnom. Yeah, Phnom Penh. Phnom Penh. Penh. Yeah, it's Penh. It's like okay, Penh. Okay, you can just try to pronounce Penh. Penh. Phnom. Phnom. Penh. Penh. It's okay. Yeah. Ninety <laughs> percent. And then Kampot. I say Kampot, but it's different, isn't it? Um, it's Kampot, Kampot. Kam. Kam. Pot. Kam pot. Yeah, right. Oh, cool. Lock lack. Lock. Lack. You know, beef. Yeah, yeah. Lock lack. Lock. Just tell them, um, you know, just um, try to pronounce lock. Lock. It's just like lock. 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 Yeah. yeah. So silent K. And one other for our Cam Khmer lesson for today. Now, do you have a Western Khmer accent? Is your accent different from here in the city? Uh, yes, we do. Mm -hmm. um, yes. It is different. And your language, Khmer, is quite similar to Thai, isn't it? So if you were to speak Khmer to a Thai person, would they understand you? Yes, they do. They do, and you understand Thai. Yeah, because, you know, I can speak Thai a little bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So, I know their accents, how they speak. Yeah. yeah. I mean Thai accents, Khmer accents, or Western accents. Okay. Okay. Oh, I was hoping to get a shot of you without your mask. Now we're going to explore, we'll have to go this way. 
because it's closed over there. There's a French cafe around here. Do you want to go there? Maybe we can see where there used to be. Yeah. Is that? So, and you were saying in there you're studying international relations. Uh, yeah, yeah. And maybe in the future you might be a diplomat or... All right, in the, I wish. ...in the Foreign Service of Cambodia. That would be interesting. <laughs> yeah, I hope to be so. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Now, there was a French place I had seen in the past. We're going to have a look over here. Okay. I think it used to be there. So, we're out on a random walk, having left that cafe, trying to find somewhere to eat. And that is, Sino says, that's called the French building. Yes. And it's apartments. There's plenty of uh, these old style apartment buildings. Really nice, but a little bit beaten up around this part of town. And here's another, but this time a new building, a new variation. We are on the point of getting lost. Is this food here? Okay, we just got to get across here. So we've arrived back at the railway station. And it was a more direct route coming back than we took on the way out. So it took us when we were walking. We went, took quite a long time, but coming back has been only about 20 minutes. It's not bad. We need to find some air conditioned space. Oh, there's the cafe car there and the railway station. Should we walk through the station? I don't know if we can walk through there. Yes, we made it through the station and back out onto the street. Went to the former French cafe, which had turned into a Burger King. But unfortunately, because of an operator malfunction, some of the all of the good footage there that I shot turned out not to be footage at all. But I got some important audio. So let's just have a listen to this. I think you'll find it interesting. And thanks for watching. Now Sino has very kindly offered to show me around some good spots in Phnom Penh. So we'll have a little cereal. Not today, but Sinu has another question for me. She asked me if we're friends. Yeah. And I said yes. So, what's your question? My question is, do you mind? Oh, okay, all right. Do you mind if I want to ask you to be my grandfather, you know? To be your grandfather? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah sure. I'll be your grandfather. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah. But thank you for being my guide. <laughs> Great. Thank you for watching. And if you're finding this content informative or in any way entertaining, then please subscribe to my channel.